In World War II history circles, one of the most recognizable Soviet tankers is Dmitry Loza. Born on April 14, 1922 in Ukraine, Loza would end up graduating his armor school in 1942 and serve on both the Eastern and Far Eastern fronts, traveling through Hungary in late 1944-45 onto Austria where his actions there would both temporarily remove him from the war and award him the highest medal of the Red Army, Hero of the Soviet Union. Serving with the tank brigades of these mechanized corps, Loza held these three positions, the most elevated of which was the commander of a tank brigade's 1st Battalion. The tank Loza had while commanding the 1st Battalion of the 46th Guards Tank Brigade is very often misrepresented, leading to misinformation about historical fact. This video will identify Loza's actual battalion command tank and give precise reasons for why the tank attributed to Loza, Sherman 936, is incorrect. These were the main sources which were used for this video, and I would like to give a special thanks to Gabor Horvath, Dr. Samve Bernobert, and Dr. Marcus Reisner for their assistance in sharing many of the details you are about to watch. Before we get to Loza's tank, let's first get familiar with one of the stories Loza gives an account of. In December of 1944, in an area roughly 40 kilometers northwest of Budapest, led the Axis Soviet Front, the Burzhung Mountains, the Ipoi River, and the Garon River, now called the Hron, were the main geographical landmarks of this sector, with the many small towns and villages scattered around the northern Hungarian countryside. During December 11th and 12th, the front at the north end of the Burzhung Mountains saw a rapid Soviet advance pushing the badly mauled 2nd Hungarian Armored Division back around the top of the mountains. This caused German units to rush in in an attempt to secure the front. The 18th Mechanized Brigade occupied Ipoyevetsa and with the help of the 303rd Rifle Infantry Division was able to cross the river and also take Ipoyhidveg. The 30th Mechanized Brigade occupied Drege Polank. The 31st Mechanized Brigade captured Homok, while the 46th Guards Tank Brigade was active around the town of Ipoyshag. The German 357th Infantry Division was around the villages of both Bernetza Borati and Kemence. The main characters in this story are three Soviet soldiers, tasked with the retrieving of intelligence about Axis defense positions behind the front. The first soldier, Guards Captain Nikolai Bogdanov, who was the chief of staff for the 46th Guards Tank Brigade, was tasked with this mission. Creatively, Bogdanov requested that he use a tank for this operation as it would be the last thing a German would think of using for sneaking behind enemy lines. Our second soldier, 1st Battalion Commander Guards Captain Ivan Yakushkin, would oversee the operation and ride along in the Sherman. The final main character, Guard Senior Sergeant Mikhail Bolotin, would be the driver. On the night of the 12th 13th, a lone Sherman slipped across the front and followed the tree line in a southerly direction. The funnel of wind between the Garam and Burzhen mountains, along with the heavy blowing snow, dampened the tank's noise. Turning west and then back north, the tank was positioned behind the village of Bernetsebarati. Here, Captain Bogdanov spotted a single assault gun and on it what he thought was an infrared searchlight for nighttime operations. However, it was most likely just a cover for the tank's light. Speaking German and dressed as such, Bogdanov was able to lure the enemy tankers out and detain them. The Soviets pulled the German assault gun back north, crossing the front lines to complete their mission. So what tank was used for this operation? If the 1st Battalion commander was in the mission, did they use his tank? Well, each Lend-Lease Sherman has a US registration number painted on the chassis, 
which was used as the chassis number by the Soviets. This document has such a chassis number for the 46th Guards Tank Brigade's 1st Battalion Command Tank. However, the location at which it was for- retrieved from, Kahlo, was the place of battle at the beginning of December, meaning that the 1st Battalion's command tank would not have been used. The 46th Guards Tank Brigade saw no vehicle resupply between the beginning of December and the time of this night raid, meaning that Yakushkin would have used another tank. Dmitry Loza would take over Yakushkin's position to become the brigade's 1st Battalion commander by 1945. So, if the 1st Battalion's command tank was number 3, is this Sherman 936 really Loza's tank? Shouldn't Loza's battalion command tank also be number 3? There are many things said about Sherman 936, and some actually do get all the unit designations correct, but then go on to claim that this was Loza's tank, and charge money for it. Well, we will break down why Sherman 936 is certainly not Dmitry Loza's command tank, in four steps. Number one, markings. The photos of Sherman 936 were shot during the Soviet offensive on Vienna. Therefore, we should look at a couple of examples from this battle. If the markings of 936 do not match that of Loza's unit, then this would mean that Sherman 936 is not part of Loza's unit, and by extension, not Loza's tank. Here we see Sherman 936 and 934 on a street. Both tanks have three-digit markings and both begin with nine. There are no core markings on this tank. Here is a second picture of 936. Alongside tank 911, both are from the same brigade. Both have no core markings. Here is another tank from the same brigade. Tank 967 is shot out in Vienna. Here we see two more tanks with the number nine as the lead digit. Again, no core markings. These tanks are photographed alongside the American 9th Armored Division when the two units linked up in Austria. If we now look at this tank, we can see two large vehicle numbers, a small index number and a core emblem. Same goes for this tank. And finally, we get to Dmitry Loza's actual 1st Battalion command tank, where the same marking pattern follows. Number two, structure. Tank markings are placed on tanks to represent the unit structure that the vehicle is part of. If the structure of the markings on Sherman 936 do not match that of the position Loza held, 1st Battalion Commander, then Sherman 936 cannot be Loza's tank. The 1st Guard's mechanized corps had the same unit from August of 1943 until the end of the war in Europe. It also fought in Vienna. This corps had the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Guard's mechanized brigades, along with the 9th Guards Tank Brigade. Tanks in the 9th Guards Tank Brigade had the number 9 as their brigade code, followed by the vehicle number. The 9th Guards Mechanized Corps had the same units from the fall of 1944 until the end of the war in Europe. Like the 1st Guards Mechanized Corps, the 9th also fought in Vienna. The Guards Corps had the 18th, 30th, and 31st Guards Mechanized Brigades, along with the 46th Guards Tank Brigade. Because this brigade's official number was two digits, the brigade code needed to be different, and thus the number 4 was chosen. Tanks of this brigade had a small 4 as their brigade code. The brigade code on 936 does not match that of the 46th Guards Tank Brigade, the unit in which Loza fought. The two digits which represent the tank's vehicle number can be found on this chart. As both the 9th Guards and the 46th Guards were tank brigades, they would both have used this structure for their tanks. We can easily check to see if Sherman 936, photographed in April of 1945, when Loza was already the 1st Battalion's commander, is in fact the 1st Battalion's command vehicle. It turns out that 936 is not the 1st Battalion's command vehicle. In fact, it is not even in the 1st Battalion. It is not the 2nd Battalion's command vehicle. It is not in the 2nd Battalion's 1st Company. And it is not even the 2nd Battalion's 2nd Company's command vehicle. 936 is the 2nd Battalion's 2nd Company's 1st Platoon lead vehicle, a far cry from the position Loza held, and therefore not his tank. Number 3. Location. If the location of the 9th and the 46th Guards tank brigades can be proven to be far apart, then there is no possibility that Loza could have even temporarily ridden in Sherman 936. Looking at this general route map of the armored units during the Battle of Vienna, we can see the path of the 1st and 9th Guards mechanized corps. We can even see the 46th Guards tank brigade. 
Notice how far apart the two mechanized chords are on the 7th of April, 1945. On this map, which shows the advancement of the First Guard's mechanized corps, we are able to follow the unit into the heart of Vienna, tracing the general location within the city. The corps made its way to the southern train station but was stopped, and then turned eastward and then northward, continuing its advance. This movement would bring the First Guard's mechanized corps, along with the Ninth Guard's tank brigade, under which Sherman 936 fought, further away from the 46th Guard's tank brigade the unit Loza was a 1st Battalion commander in. The location of the two tank brigades was far apart. Therefore, it would have been impossible for Loza to even temporarily have ridden in another unit's tank. Number four, timing. If we are able to accurately deduce when the photograph of Sherman 936 was taken, along with when Loza's 46th Guards tank brigade was, and where it was within Vienna, then we will be able to completely exclude the possibility of Sherman 936 as being Loza's tank. Here is the photograph of Sherman 936 in Vienna. We can see that it is daytime, there are tram tracks in the streets, and shops in the buildings. Unfortunately, we cannot see any legible street names or numbers. However, this photograph was part of a series of photographs taken from the same balcony during this exact moment. This sister photograph is facing the other way and is focusing on different tanks. Notice the same lighting, the same tram track, the same layout of the shops on the first floor of the buildings, and the tanks 920 and 914, which are part of the same tank brigade. But, most importantly, notice the address visible on the hat shop's sign, Favoritenstrasse 73. We now need to know when Sherman 936 was on Favoritenstrasse. Here is a modern map highlighting Favoritenstrasse. And here is the advancement map of the 1st Guards Mechanized Corps with Favoritenstrasse highlighted. The 9th Guards Tank Brigade reached this street on the 7th of April, 1945. On the 7th, 8th of April, the 9th Guards Tank Brigade was held up at the Southern Station while the 46th Guards Tank Brigade managed to reach the Western Station by the 8th. Between the 8th and the 9th, the 46th Guards Tank Brigade was able to advance onto Maria Hirfeldstrasse, while on the 9th through the 10th, both tank brigades would continue their advances in different parts of the city. This goes to show that even the timing of the Sherman 936 photograph proves that this tank was not Loza's tank. Now we have to ask ourselves a question. Why is Sherman 936 so famous? Why is a 2nd Battalion's 2nd Company's 1st Platoon Command Tank this popular. Apart from historical misrepresentation, either by negligence of facts or lack of depth in research, Sherman 936 does have a genuine reason to be propagated into fame. Looking closely, we can see legible text on the tank's side. This text reads, For the Motherland. This slogan, written on a tank located in the first major Third Reich city to be captured by the Soviets, was an excellent boost to wartime morale and propaganda. So now we have to answer, who was commanding Sherman 936? The short answer is, we don't know. These were the names of the 9th Guards Tank Brigade's 2nd Battalion's platoon commanders in Vienna. Therefore, it is one of them. Which one? We don't know. However, what we do know is that the picture of Loza's actual tank was taken outside of Mistelbach, where his tank was hit on April 19th, and where Loza was injured and taken temporarily out of war. The main gun has been removed, so it is likely that this photo was taken after the war. So then why is the picture of Loza's tank not in as wide circulation as Sherman 936? Wasn't Loza important? Well, as it turns out, in the grand scheme of the Soviet Red Army, the position of guards captain and the commander of a tank brigade's 1st Battalion was not particularly extra special. Loza's fame actually comes from a book which was translated from his own writing into English and published in 1996. His book, Commanding the Red Army's Sherman Tanks, is an important book not because of its tales of war, but rather because of its descriptions of how American tanks were used in combat situations by the Soviets. The tactics written down in this book still have value today, as some militaries study these to help train their tankers. And yes, Loza's very own tank, number 03 as recalled from memory, is proudly displayed as the cover picture. For more World War II history content relating to Hungary, please check out my channel and consider subscribing.
Bye for now, and I'll catch you in the next one.